So I was at the flea market this morning talking with a guy about vintage comics and how he was saying, general rule of thumb, what you want to do is just grab up any 12 cent and 10 cent books you can find. That's where the real money is at, except for those Disney books. And I was thinking, well, that's just not true. There's plenty of Silver Age and Golden Age Disney books that bring in some real money. So today we're gonna dedicate a video showing you the ones to look out for. Let's be frank, some of these real early ones are really difficult to find. A lot of them, there's only less than 100 copies that exist ever graded. We are focusing primarily on raw prices today. You also need to know that it's basically two runs. Four Color and Walt Disney's Comics and Stories is where you're gonna get 99% of any value if it is Disney related. So let's dive into our big ones, and then I'm gonna show you the more attainables. We have Four Color, number four from 1940, first Donald Duck in any standard size comic book. You're not really gonna find, it does have some crazy highs. Again, we're talking Rawls in this video. CGCs and CBCS get even crazier, but it's so few and far between that we're basically gonna focus on raw prices. We're talking like a 22 to $25,000 book if it's in like near mint, maybe even mint condition. You're not gonna find it in that condition. So like a really, really low grade, still gonna cost you $2,000 for a run over copy. We also have four color 13. Cover by Irving Tripp. This has a text story that shows Mickey Mouse. Actually, it's the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey Mouse. So it's a very early 1941 Mickey key, but the big one is the first solo Mickey Mouse, which is four color 16. This is all four color volume one. If you don't know, four color volume one was a very short volume. All the four color keys that you think about are actually volume two. This is volume one, particularly hard to find. Classic cover and story of Mickey Mouse outwits the Phantom Blot. And then the last one from Four Color Volume 1 goes to issue 17, first Dumbo in a standard comic book. 1941 here, folks. So a lot of the ones I just mentioned are going to be really hard to find. Now that was Four Color. Of the obvious biggest keys when it comes to Walt Disney's comics and stories, you have number one, first Daisy Duck. Uh, this is actually has maybe even a slight boost over four color number four, probably because it's a number one. This thing can go to 30 grand again in Minty, and you're not gonna find it in Minty, but it is nice to know. Walt Disney Comics and Stories 3, first appearance of Huey, Dewey, and Louie. That's the Donald Duck in the Firefighter cover right there. Now, admittedly, a lot of these covers will look similar. So you gotta really commit these ones to memory. And then you have the first cover appearance of Huey, Dewey, and Louie in number four. You also can take it a step further, and there was a promotional giveaway copy of number four, but there was only been a few of those even found in the last 20 years, much less sold, so forget about it. You're probably not seeing that one. Let's get into the real stuff that you actually have a shot at actually seeing. And I'm going to stick with Walt Disney's comics and stories here. This is volume, I want to say like eight or something like that. That's the other tricky thing. There's a lot of different volumes. The legacy numbering would actually put it at number 140, but it's issue number eight. First appearance of Gyro Gear Loose. This is now into the 50s, so we're out of the 40s here. You can feasibly actually find these. It's not common by any means, but you do have a shot at seeing it. Issue number two from that same volume, Legacy number 134, is the first appearance of the Beagle Boys. Also like a $250 high there, so keep an eye out. Legacy number 125, or number five, it shows on the cover, is the first appearance of Junior Woodchucks. Once again, $250 for the raw. Then we have the Uncle Scrooge in the Walt Disney comics. So you're going to see Uncle Scrooge again in uh, number two, Legacy number 98. This can actually be like a $600 book in raw if it's all the way in its highest form there. Legacy number 89 is the first Chip and Dale named in a traditional comic story. We're back in the 40s here. This one's going to be a $200 high. You also have number four or legacy number 88. First Gladstone Gander, the lucky cousin of Donald Duck. Talking like a $350 high. Already we've talked about a few books that are near the $1,000 mark raw. Forget even graded. So they are out there, folks, especially the 40s and 50s stuff. 
And once we get the four color, you're going to see a lot more. We're still in the Walt Disney's comics and stories. Like number nine is first Chippendale unnamed. Remember that other one was Chippendale. First Chippendale unnamed. This one's more expensive. This one's about a $600 high if you can find it. First, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket goes to number three, or Legacy 63. There's a lot of ones to look out for that are classic stories. I don't think we're going to have time to cover them all. Here's just an example. Walt Disney's Comics and Stories number eight, Legacy 44. It's just a classic Carl Barks comic. And Carl Barks was the main man behind Donald Duck. So he's going to have a lot of stories in here that are collectible just because he had his name on it. We're not going to cover them all, so just remember that name, Carl Barks. Legacy 31, or issue 7, is the first Carl Barks stories begin on Walt Disney's comics and stories. Let's take it to the 60s, where, if we're going to be honest, that's going to be the most obtainable stuff on this list. First, Alvin and the Chipmunks goes to 1042. And that's like a $700 book right there. By the way, as I'm scrolling through the four color keys, I see a lot of Looney Tunes, Merry Melody stuff, Peanuts, all sorts of stuff. You better believe the four color is loaded up with things other than Disney. We're going to focus on Disney keys, but you need to know there's a lot of them. Four color 629. Interestingly, I have come across this book like four times. It is one of the weaker of the Disney keys. First Lady and the Tramp in comic books. It's about $100 if it's in that minty. I've never found it in minty, obviously. I usually find it mid, grade, or low, but it's one of the more attainable ones, so keep an eye out for it. First Peter Pan is another one that I've had a couple times. First Peter Pan, Captain Hook, Tinkerbell in comics. Talking like a $200 high raw if you're going to find that gorgeous copy. And I will tell you that I did get my hands on, not near mint, but I did get a very fine copy of that in just a couple years ago. First Uncle Scrooge headlining titles for color 386. I've had a 5-0 of that. A high is like four to five grand, actually, in the raws of this. This is a well-known one. People know that title a lot, so fair. We're going racist here. Four Color 238 is first Bombi the Zombie, character who is retired from comics due to racist stereotypes. Sometimes these kind of off-color characters can add some value. We're talking like an $800 high. That's a near $1,000 book if you can find a near minty copy. We've also got the first Song of the South, which, as many of you know, is a now retired Disney movie. Uh, Br'er Rabbit, all that anthology of stories in Song of the South. Four Color 208 from 1949. So we're back into the 40s here. It's a tricky one. But watch out. Even the VHSs of this, the bootlegs, still sell for money, believe it or not. And that's because it's a Disney movie that you can't watch anymore. More of these Carl Barks ones I'll float your way is Four Color 199, illustrated and written by Carl Barks throughout. Still a $1,000 book right there. Second appearance of Uncle Scrooge, also about a grand raw. First cover by Carl Barks as well is Four Color 189. That's another very popular one. Uh, commit that one to memory. A lot of them look similar. That one looks a little different, so just remember that. First Uncle Scrooge is Four Color 178, Christmas on Bear Mountain. He's not on the cover, and that's okay. A lot of people like the second and third Uncle Scrooge because of that. But this thing can go to five grand if it's near minty to minty, so wow. If anyone ever tells you that Disney comics are useless... Don't listen to them. Look at these numbers, man. 147 simply over $1,000 just because it's considered a classic cover in art in Volcano Valley. You're actually at like one and a half thousand there. And then you have the actual first Song of the South, first Br'er Rabbit, going for two grand if you can find it. But then again, it's from 1946. Good luck finding that near mint. 129. First three Caballeros, another one here. A Grand, 1945, issue 71 from volume two. First Snow White here, $500 book in four color 49. Here's one to look out for, classic story, Donald Duck and the Mummy's Ring, issue 29. This thing can be an eight to nine grand book if you're finding it in Minty. First artwork on Donald Duck is gonna go to four color number nine. 1942, this thing's gonna run you between 12 and 14 grand if it's Minty. These aren't all, but these are some of the ones that you should keep an eye out for. Maybe your dad, your grandpa has these in the basement. You might want to double check. A lot of the Disneys, it's true, they're not super valuable. 
but some of them are. And when they are, as you can see, they are. So get out there and take a look at those Disneys. Check out those 10 and 12 centers. See if you're sitting on a little gold. See you at the next video. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.